Hello, I'm Holly Rader. This class is for the Chester County Library in Henderson, Tennessee. Today we are going to be learning a little about, about uh, Google Drive. In order to get to the program Google Drive, we're going to go to google.com in your browser window. Go to sign in. Now at this point, you may have already have a Google account, a Gmail account, uh, and then you would just go into that. If not, then you're going to be starting from scratch and you will create an account. We'll go through that uh, in a moment. But let's go ahead and get in so that we can learn a little bit about it. We're going to log in through mine. I work for the Chester County Independent, which is part of Magic Valley Publishing Company. Okay, now when we're logged into Google, you see you have options up here to go to your Gmail or uh, images, or you have several options right here. These include uh, going to your account, which we'll just run through there real quick. You can set up personalization and privacy, um, check out your storage. Again, double check on your privacy. You can go through security, uh, the different people, contacts that you have, subscriptions that you have, different things that have to do with your account. You can also go to your Gmail account again, to your email. Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar, to chat. You have lots of different options over here on Google. So today we are going to drive. Find out a little bit about that. This is your drive homepage. Well, it's my drive homepage. We're going to explore this page just a little bit. Of course, you have a search bar across the top where you can choose, you know, look for something specific. You can narrow that down by typing in what type of file you're looking for, uh, specifically who sent the file, location, the time that you had. Um, you can type in words or the item name and search for things that way. You have your um, search, not search, but your other applications right there. You can change the view, the way that your page is viewed from a list to the other way we just saw. On the right hand side, you have a calendar. You have a section where you can take notes or you can do tasks. There's also a uh, plus button to do other add-ons. So you can explore that on your own page. Moving over to the left-hand side, you see we have new. You can choose from a new folder, file upload, a new folder upload, um, doc sheet slides forms drawings maps sites lots of other apps that you can connect to your drive my drive which is things that are on my personal drive which would be things that you have added it could be pictures or um, documents documents um, sheets, videos, slides, lots of different things. Shared with me would be things that other people have created and shared with you. Recent, of course, the most recent things you've opened, starred, and then trash. And again, down here, you have the option to uh, manage your storage. So we are going to go to new file upload and you 
locate where in your computer you're looking for it. We're going to go to my USB and to library to classes and Google Drive. So now I've up uploaded that and you see it appeared right here. This is a docx file. It's a document under the Google Docs. Go back over to my drive. And then quickly, I do want to just point on uh, some of these other applications. Slides is just like PowerPoint. Sheets would be like Excel. Docs is your Word program that's through, through Drive. And then, you know, obviously the others are kind of self-explanatory. Uh, those are other things, though, that you can definitely explore on your Google Drive. Don't be afraid to get in and research, um, or maybe not research, but search. Explore around on your page and see where the what the different files look like or what the different applications look like. And get in there and play around because that's a good way to learn. We're going to go on over to Google Docs now to the, we'll go to Recent, to the one that we just uploaded. And so this is going to open a file. Like I said, this is just like Microsoft Word, or it's very similar anyway. And I put a few things on here for us to see about Google Docs. Just a uh, kind of a, a tour of the way that some of it works. I took just a regular new file, uh, a blank document, and just added some images. Um, again, when you're signing up, if you're signing in for the very first time to Google to Gmail or to create a new Gmail account, you will, well, you're going to put in your email or phone. Well, first you're going to click create account. We'll f follow my graphics and that'll get us where we're going, right? You'll have to put in your first name, your last name, decide what your username you want to use, uh, and that will be what your email account will look like. You saw when I logged in, it was hroder at magicvalleypublishing.com. That is my newspaper email, and that's the one that I use through Gmail. So you'll have an option to choose right here in the username what you want your Gmail at. And it may have to give you other options if the one that you choose has already been used, but you can play around and find one that is acceptable. And then you'll enter, uh, enter your password. And it's going to ask you for your phone number. So it can send you a text message just to verify that you are a real person and not a bot. It seems like with all of technology, we get to do that these days, prove that we are human. All right, so once you get into Google Docs, we are going to upload another one, and I'm going to show you how to do that if you're actually in the Google Docs. We're going to, actually, let's click back over to Google Docs. See, now we're actually, we're in the, pro, the kind of like the home page of Google Docs, like we were in the main page of Drive a moment ago. You've got templates across the top. You can open a blank document, or they have templates similar to what you would see in Microsoft Word, uh, newsletters and proposals and resumes and um, brochures, different things you might find. Again, you can change the view, change uh, the sorting options, and we're going to go to Open File. 
Now on this page you can choose one or you can go to upload and from there you can either browse for it or we can just grab here and click it over. Now we have it open in Google Google Docs. Now I have to, um, I wanted to have something that I could edit quickly and I just grabbed a book off of my bookcase at home, flipped it open and this was the first page and I thought well since we have on our mind um, germs and illnesses and concerns of that nature these days uh, this book was called Germophobia, so I thought, well, that's appropriate. And this page uh, happened to be about the curative powers of worm goo. So take it for what it's worth. Um, this guy thought that apparently for a toothache, you could um, stick a needle into your gums that had secretions of an earthworm and that would cure your toothache. I don't recommend you try this. Again, um, well, I'm not a doctor and can't tell you, but I'm guessing that this isn't something that you really want to try. <laughs> um, but it's a very interesting book. Moments, uh, pretty funny. Pretty scary. Anyway, just for an example of some text that we're going to play with for a few minutes within Google, uh, Google Docs. We've got all of the options to edit and to change the way the look of your, of your document, of your text, you can change you can add headers, footers, page numbers. You can change the font, the size, bold, italics, underline, colors. You can do spell check. Let's look through. Let's look through here first. The options. One thing, um, let's see. Documents within Google Docs can be saved in different formats. They can be saved in DocX, ODT, RTF, PDFs, uh, plain text, web pages, EPUBs. This is helpful when you are using uh, wanting to send these to different, um, well, my words, my words are escaping me. Um, but when, when you're wanting to save them for different reasons or, uh, send them to, to people for different purposes other than just for having the, the document. Not sure that that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, you can email the file. Version history. You can go back and look at older versions of it if you change things and uh, make edits to it, but then you decide you want to go back to the original. You can go back through the version history and see, how, see what was done previously. You can also name the current version so that you have different versions specified. There's the rename option move, save different places, um, edit, just like in Word, you're going to see undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, select, view. You can see it in the print layout, change the mode, insert, you have the option of adding images, uh, which is on the other one that we saw, we had images within the Word document. You can add tables, drawings, charts, lines, 
kind of making squares or borders on your pages or or horizontal lines. Um, dates again, foot uh, footers and headers. You can add a page number to your document, and you can see over here in the options, you can choose which side of or which corner of the page to have it. Um, format changes your text, your paragraph style, um, align and indenting, tools. Now on tools, um, one interesting thing, you can of course check your spelling and grammar, uh, but you can also check your word count if you have a certain amount. Say you're writing a paper and it needs to be 750 words or you know, 5,000 words, then you can highlight and hit word count and it'll tell you how many. So that's everything, but if we wanted to say how much is just this, then you can go to word count and it'll give you, that's only 72 words out of 116 total. So in your tools, again, you also have a dictionary. You can look up certain words. You have translations. And then you have many of those options again right here in the toolbar. So if we wanted to highlight the whole thing, I left at least one thing, and say spelling and grammar, Let's go ahead and check that. So we can click here and it'll show spelling suggestions. Well, I know that one was. Let's see. Okay. So we clicked the spell check here, which is again the same thing as clicking the spell check up here. And when I checked that, it was actually unchecking it so that it didn't give me options. But as long as it's checked, it will show you options. So obviously this is a misspelling and it should read what instead of whaty. So I want to accept to change that word and now it's correct. I can also highlight this part and let's say we want to add an indent and let's see or maybe we want to offset this this part with an indent to indent it in. Just going to play for a second just to give you an idea. Now, so we can uh, choose the first line and 0.5. And so that gives you the paragraph indent. So if we were to make another paragraph, it automatically is going to indent. Let's see. So we're going to go back to Drive and let's go to Google Sheets. Now again, this is similar to Excel. And just like in Excel, you can um, make your list, put your numbers in. It's going to give you your options across the top.
and then there's a help if you have questions. In slides, slides is going to look like um, PowerPoint and We'll add just a couple of things here. Let's say we want to do, I added a new tux box. Of course, there was one already there. Apparently, I like to capitalize that thing or that first O. And say we wanted to add a picture of folks in there. Now to change the size of it, you can grab those arrows on the side and that will adjust the size. Also, I'm clicking on it with the mouse. Don't be afraid just to click around and play with it. And if you ever get to a point where um, you've gone too far, you don't know, you know what you've done, you can always go to the back button and that will go to the step right before, or you can keep stepping back to undo what you've done so far. So when you have this uh, the way that you would like it, you can click the plus and it'll add another page. Google Forms, it's a little bit more in depth, but you can take a tour and it will tell you about it. You can add questions, make tests, and uh, lots of other fun things there. So Google Drive is kind of a, it's known as the G Suite. It is kind of like the Microsoft Suite with lots of different applications, different options and programs all contained in the one. Uh, one thing that we did not go over that I did want to, I'm going to go back to let's see We are going back to this document that we started on earlier. Within Google Docs, one other thing I wanted to mention is that you can, um, once you save a document to Google Docs, and again, you can choose which format that you save it in, you can select whether it can be viewed only or if it can be edited. And when you're opening a file, you can choose whether you want to um, just view it or if you want to edit it. Then you can also make those files accessible to others to collaborate with. Um, so that you may save it to your Google Doc or your Google Drive, and then a friend, you may be working on something together and they also have Google Drive, so they can open their Google Drive somewhere totally different and be able to connect on the same uh, document. And you can, you can both work on it and see in real time. So you'll have the option to share with others. Um, You can have it off and only specific people can access it, or you can choose anyone with the link can edit, anyone with the link can comment, 
or anyone with the link can view. In the share with others section, you can get the shareable link that you can send to people so that they can access it. From the drop down menu, you can edit how much power the shared users have over the file when you select one of these options. Off. Oh, sorry about that. If it is off, sharing is disabled. Uh, if you've previously shared a link with others, it will no longer work and requires or revokes any permissions that they once had. If you select anyone with the link can edit, it gives the shared users full read and write access. They still can't delete it from your drive. That's just uh, for the contents of the file. Anyone with the link can comment means allowed users can uh, allow share users to leave comments if desired. This is great for team projects. And anyone with the link can view, shared users can view the file but can't edit it in any way. This is the default action when you share a file. And the best option if you're trying to share a file for download. When you share documents with others, it's difficult to keep tracks of all the small changes that happen if you're not present. And we talked about that with the version history. You can go back and see uh, what each pe person has done. We looked at that under file to version history, see version history. There's also an option uh, within the sharing section where you can choose to uh, let them make suggestions, but the edits won't actually take effect. You'll just have that, that option to see. So I think that we have covered quite a bit this evening. Um, of course, there's a lot more to learn in Google Docs and I and Google Drive. And I encourage you to go and sign up and explore and see what you can create. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you later.